This is going to be about power chords and fits. So let's do a little review of the major scale here. Well, um, let's start with A, A major scale. So if you take each note and you number it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you'll have the intervals. So a second interval would be the first note and the second note. Likewise, a third would be the first and the third. So a power chord is made up of the first and the fifth notes of a major scale. And then you add in your pinky for that, that eighth note. So we have root, which is the A, and then a D, and another A. So if we're trying to make a G power chord, we'll play the G major scale and play the first, fifth, and eighth notes of that. So it'll look like this. And if you notice, it's the same shape. And the difference between power chords and open chords is each chord is going to be the same shape. So instead of playing that E and then change into a different shape to C and D, you could just play D e up here or you could play it down here. Just open and then the second fret on A. E, C, D. Oftentimes when you're playing power chords, you'll use a distortion pedal. Right now I have one on, but it's I've got the volume turned down on my guitar. So if you can, if you play a, a chord and you turn the volume up on your guitar, it'll kind of distort it a little more. So if you back it off, not not to where it's off, but just a little up. playing music as a power chord, it'll uh, say you're playing an A power chord. You'll have A5 will be what it looks like. So it'll be an A and then a 5. That stands for the A, which is the root note, and then the fifth interval. So whatever your lowest note is on your power chord is going to be the name of the, of the chord. So G, A flat, A. And those are just the notes that we're playing on the lowest string. What we have there on the page is a little smoke on the water. It goes like this. And it's all power chords. Play that on a single string, it'd just be. And then with power chords, it'll be like this. So if you're having trouble with that shape, you can tune your E string down to a D, and that's called. Drop D tuning. The way I do that is just play the first three strings. And you can hear it's kind of kind of weird sounding. So if you take your E string tuning peg and you turn it down till it sounds more pleasing. So it'll be like this. You'll, you'll hit those first strings and then. See how that sounds a little better? So you'll have. E, A, E for your three lowest strings. Now, let's play Smoke in the Water, except in drop D tuning. So it'll look like this. So since our E string is tuned down, 
we move whatever we would fret on the E string up two frets or a whole step. So instead of playing a shape that's like this for an A, our A would be with the E string up two frets. So one and then two. So it would just be these three. And that's an A. So your lowest chord is going to be these three strings open. And that's going to be the D5. And then your E is right here instead of open. Instead of this being your normal E with that E string open, it's going to be like this. So to help memorize that shape of your fingers of that power chord, I'm in uh, standard E tuning now instead of drop D. You can take your fingers, put it in that, e, in that shape, and slide it around. Power chords are very similar to bar chords, so if you have a just a G, G major bar chord like this, a power chord is just going to be those first three notes. If you can see there, I'm just playing the first three notes. And then the bar chord is all of the notes. Your open power chords will be like a, a E5 would be open on the E string, second fret A, and then the second fret on the D string. So it's kind of like an open E, but just the first three strings. So now that you know power chords, you can play a lot of songs. Um, if a song's playing like bar chords or open chords, a lot of times power chords will fit in there kind of somewhere. So it'll help you to figure out songs if they're playing like maybe an E7 and, you, and you're just playing an E power chord over the E7. They kind of sound the same. So it'll help you figure out the root note and then later on once you figure the progression you can throw in all the, the weird sevens and added notes. So good luck with power chords.